princess and welcome back to my channel so i know i am so late with decorating my house but honestly we were waiting for this living room to get painted it was actually a like a beige peachy color type of thing but um it just recently got painted white and then these shutters came in yesterday so peter installed them last night and i wanted that uh, installed before I put up my Christmas tree. So you guys are gonna go ahead and come along with me while I decorate my first floor. All Christmassy, the best time of the year, my favorite time of the year other than like fall, but um, my favorite holiday. So I'm so excited to be spending this first Christmas with my baby girl. Um, so let's get to decorating. So I've got my handyman helping a sister out. He's the one setting up the tree for me so I can start decorating the with ornaments. It is, what is this, a nine foot tree? Yes, yeah, so I, it was like my dream tree and I love that we have high ceilings here. So I'm excited about that. And then I got the tree skirt here, ready to go. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling So um, I'm deciding to go a little bit different uh, in the ribbon for the tree. Come on, my love. The baby is right here helping her mommy, but I think she's going to be hungry soon. So if you hear her, don't mind her. Um, so I'm going to be doing the ribbon a little different uh, this year. Last year, I went like this. But this year, I'm going to go ahead and do like, if you guys can see that right here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So it's your ribbon. You're going to fold it. And then you're going to fold it again to the back and then to the front and then to the back again and then to the front and then back again and then front again. So you're going to do it so that you can get four little um like ribbon like this so the ribbon can look like this four of these little sections and you can bake them as big or as little as you want i'm also going to go ahead and try doing three like this one's a bit smaller than the one i put there but i do want to kind of switch them in sizes so we're going to cut this here And then because the ribbon is kind of thick, I found bigger ones of these, which are the ornament um, hooks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this around. We're gonna wrap it around. And twist. Wrap it around, and then you're going to adjust your sections, open them up, look how pretty that looks. You can adjust however it is that you like, make them skinnier, thicker, move them to the side, or keep them all in the center. I'm going to try and keep them all in the center. Kind of like that. And then we're just going to place and they will stay um, within the branches. So look how pretty that looks. If they do, if some do fall off, you can always just add another ornament hook to where I uh, twisted the one that keeps it together and then just wrap it around a branch. But they seem to be staying 
put just fine. So let's see how it turns out. I look forward to putting up the tree and all the Christmas decor, specifically the tree though together. It's a tradition that I would want to continue for when the baby is older, even though she was right there on the stroller watching us do it. I can't wait for her to actually be there with us, helping us put up the decor. I do really like um, this holiday season, so I want to make the best memories for our baby girl because these memories of just us two putting up our Christmas trees the past couple of years have been amazing. It will always be Christmas in my heart. All right, so I'm going to be adding these to the tree. I had these from last year and then some ornaments. I actually got these white ones from Dollar Tree last year. And then these ones were from Hobby Lobby. So I'm trying to see if I'll need more of the folded ribbon that I showed you guys. And then I ended up putting the uh, other kind of ribbon spiraled around the tree. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's Hi, Juanitas. As you can see, today is a whole new day and I do plan to finish decorating today. It's been a couple days. I've been super busy, but let's get back right into it. I'm excited to finish. I want to see my house all in the Christmas spirit. Like I said, I usually put everything up like the day before Thanksgiving or like within that week, but it's already December 5th. Your girl is running late and I'm excited to finish. So I have some additional ornaments. This one was gifted to us. It actually turns on. It's just a cute little star with um, some wood detailing inside. Let me see. It still works. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. And then I made these custom um, ornaments. Last year, I need to make a new one for my baby girl. This one says our first home 2020. And then, of course, one for Bonita. So we have to make one for Angelique's first Christmas. So I will be working on that soon. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hang these up. Okay, so Peter built these uh, reindeer. reindeer. It's actually a family of three, just like us. Um, so he's going to be putting those outside. I can't wait. He already put our Christmas lights. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but they're like up here hanging. And I just want to go ahead and put these outside already. I still don't know if I'm going to add more stuff outside. Um, I just really like to go in on the indoor decor. So I'm excited to see how that looks. Now that we are done with our Christmas tree, we moved on to the dining table. I was clearing out all the Thanksgiving fall decor. So let's bring in that glam dining table Christmas decor, which I kept it simple and sweet. I absolutely loved this garland because it had rhinestones and it was gold and then the little trees are glittery. I added the candles. I absolutely loved it. I purchased all of that at Hobby Lobby and I believe the garland was from Marshalls or Ross from last year. Now here we moved on to the fireplace area. I wanted to keep it also very simple. I recently got this new garland. That one was from Hobby Lobby. I love how it looks frosty but it, it looks like crystals. And then that mirror that was in the dining area floor, I went ahead and put it up here. And I just kept it sweet and simple. I did end up adding one more cone and our stockings, which I want to get new ones, but we'll see how that goes. Now 
Now last year I put my nativity set on the floor right next to the fireplace which looked nice but I didn't want it on the floor this year around so I went ahead and put it on our TV console. It does seem a little bit cluttered up there because the um, ornaments are big but I think it looks perfectly fine right there and then I added this garland from last year which lights up and I did a little switcheroos with all the um, decor that I had but I ended up just keeping the blessed sign, a uh, deer, and our picture, which was cute. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In all right bonitas so here is the final look of my decoration i did keep it simple this year but i absolutely love it so i really hope you guys enjoy this beautiful christmas tree i ended up adding that cute little reindeer i found at hobby lobby and i am obsessed i kept my colors and this couch I, I just added the throw blanket it already had the cushion and i went ahead and organized the two seats that i have with a nice little uh christmas flower and my fireplace is to die for i absolutely love the simplicity I went ahead and added a cute and simple garland to my staircase. I do want to try lighting it up next year, so we'll see about that. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, this garland I'm obsessed with. It is for my dining table, and here is the complete look of how it turned out. And finally, here is my living area. My coffee table is cute and simple. And of course, my TV console has the nativity set along with some original decor, my blessed sign. But that is it for today, Bonitas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And we're almost at 500 subscribers, so help your girl out. Thank you for watching once again. Bye.